So we were invited by the Public Media Alliance to attend their conference and surrounding events in Kingston, Jamaica. This was a, a real privilege. We've been working and talking to the Public Media Alliance for a while. The Public Media Alliance was formerly known as the Commonwealth Broadcasting Association and therefore has members from a, a wide variety of countries across the world. Over a hundred different media organisations representing over 50 countries. So this sit, sat really well with our media first aid training work that we do. Jamaica is a very interesting place to go to. We often think of it as a holiday resort, but it is a real central key player in the politics and the events of the Caribbean. It does unfortunately have some problems which are, are well documented. And one of those is the amount of deaths by road traffic accidents, or road traffic collisions if you prefer. The World Health Organization measures deaths from road traffic accidents in per 100,000. So to give some context, the United Kingdom, we have 2.9 deaths per 100,000 by road traffic accidents. In Jamaica, that figure is 11.5, so much higher uh, fates compared to some places in Africa, but it's much higher than, than many countries. And this is a real problem. With a population of just under 2.9 million, this means a significant number of people die in road traffic accidents, road traffic collisions each year in Jamaica. The good news is it's publicly aware. You see signs at the side of the road making you aware of the numbers of fatalities over the year, hovering in the 300 year after year after year. There's probably a number of causes of this. One is the state of the roads in some parts of Jamaica. Part of that is the fact that the roads aren't necessarily set up for the amount of traffic that they now have on them, the traffic flow, etc. But there's also some user-based problems, such as people overloading vehicles, and in fact people travelling on top of vehicles, lorries, etc., on top of the ballast. So road traffic accidents, road traffic collisions is a major problem in Jamaica. Public Media Alliance's conference. It was held at the Pegasus Hotel in Kingston, which is really well set up for conference events. We were able to attend the Public Media Alliance's conference and its pre-conference events, but this also gave us an opportunity to attend the Caribbean Broadcasting Union's conference, which followed on from the PMA's events. So this meant we met a wide array of people, all media-based, but not just from across the Commonwealth, but also more local providers in the Caribbean, uh, particularly Jamaica was very well represented. The conference was running in the function suites of the Pegasus Hotel and our pre-conference workshop was running one of the suites there. Fantastic facility for training events and we were able to get a good turnout of people to attend our Stop the Bleed session. We had over 20 people attend the session, which was pretty much the maximum that we'd set. And they were all managerial staff from broadcasting organisations across the Caribbean and in fact the wider Public Media Alliance as well. There's many other bits of material on our website. There's much other information about our Stop the Bleed session that everyone got involved with using tourniquets, using pressure using pressure points to stop someone bleeding to death. Everyone got really engaged in the topic. They all had a go at the practical, hands-on skills of how to stop the bleed. We were looking at the use of tourniquets, both manufactured and improvised, but we also looked at other methods that we could use to stop someone bleeding to death. And it was really good to see everyone getting on the floor, getting their hands on and having a practice and building their confidence that they could stop the bleed. For both conferences, both the Public Media Alliance and the Caribbean Broadcasting Union, the conferences had themes, often to do with safety, resilience and looking towards the future such as uh, climate control. And it was really interesting to see international speakers from a wide variety of backgrounds, some academic, some media based, some climate based, and see everyone working together to work out how the broadcast industry can deal with these topics in the future. We were really privileged as well to take part, a very small part, in a pre-conference workshop about hate speech and the Ethical Journalism Network and UNESCO worked together with the Public Media Alliance and the Caribbean Broadcasting Union to put together some guidelines for media workers about how to report on matters such as hate speech without in themselves generating it. And during this pre-conference event about hate speech it was interesting to see that a phrase that we're familiar with from the news, fake news, almost became banned words because they felt it gave 
too much credence to the title. It wasn't all work and we were privileged to be able to attend the Caribbean Broadcasting Union's Caribbean Broadcasting Awards. And this was, as the title probably suggests, a real celebration of the work done by organisations, media production companies across the Caribbean. There was a wide array of awards and we've all seen award ceremonies on the television so it was really interesting to be there about four rows back from the front and see how it all comes together and to join in production companies from across the region in celebrating the hard work and to see the, the fruits of that. So obviously we were in Jamaica for a week and we don't work 24-7 while we're away and so we were able to get a little bit of time beside the pool, about an hour here or there and we were also able to get out and about and see some of the sights of Kingston. One of the particularly nice places we saw and I'd recommend for any of you to go to if you get the opportunity is Devon House which is an old uh, building from the 1860s I believe um, which has now got, and this was the reason we went, it's now got a really amazing ice cream parlour there and people travel from around the Jamaica and allegedly from around the world to go there and get an ice cream. And it's rated by some American media organisations as being the fourth best ice cream parlour in the world. So clearly we couldn't leave that out. So I think we should close the video by saying first of all thank you to everyone that we met in Jamaica. Uh, we had a really interesting week there and everyone made us feel very, very welcome. We should thank the Caribbean Broadcasting Union and the Public Media Alliance for inviting us along and not just kind of letting us attend their events but making us feel part of the whole procedure as well. If from this video you've got any interest in our Stop the Bleed sessions or indeed our wider training that we do for the media sector, we'll pop over onto our website lazarustraining.co.uk and have a little look around on there. All the contact details you need will be on there and all the information about our main array of courses is on there. If you want to watch any more of our videos somewhere around here, with through the magic of YouTube, I'm sure there will be some links and stuff that you can follow onto our page. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you.